What's up, fellas? Merry Christmas. Andrew wishes you guys a Merry Christmas also, don't you, buddy? Okay. Alright, guys, so what you're seeing here is Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe by Collectivision, also known now as Exidy. I know you guys remember the company Exidy back in the days. If you had like Mousetrap for the ColecoVision, I got a copy here somewhere. Let's see. You should see the Exidy logo in it. Let me check it out. Uh, there we go. Got a bad focus. Yeah. Ouch. Have a little light over here. So I have so much goodies to show, guys. But anyway, let me let me get back to this uh, Sydney Hunter. I think this game is really awesome. I wasn't supposed to get this. Uh, Collective Vision was talking about we will be receiving them in January and December 24th I was like whoa looked in the mail and this was in the mailbox unbelievable for your Mattel and television this system is probably older than you yep this came with some nice overlays not a big fan of the controllers but I mean, this was old. That's actually a 16 directional, I believe. Let me see, you got four, eight. Yeah, they say that's 16 directional. Beautiful stuff, Collector Vision. They were also um, numbered by serial. You had to request it on Atari Age. You still go ahead there probably and you know request a copy. I chose 76 because that's the year I was born. Actually, I'm um, getting some bad, bad reflection here. I want to turn the light off, but um, I have so many goodies I could show. I picked up Andrew a uh, nice little Overwatch. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, what kind of edition is that called, Andrew? It's like a limited, the Origins edition. We got the box over here. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Andrew's a big Blizzard fan. So am I. Also got him uh, Fortress Maximus. Holy crap! Tell me he is not huge. He is freaking enormous. Humongous. Andrew's a huge fan of Transformers like me. He's way bigger than Devastator. Look at Devastator back there. He, he, he doesn't stand a chance. Gosh, my focus is terrible. Yep. Oh, let me get the light off for you guys. I, I could just talk about this all day, like everything that I've been picking up. That's the first Sydney Hunter by Collective Vision. Got that sucker. Spotless. We're playing this on a modded uh, RGB scarred out and television system and it's hooked up to the BDM and it's looking so gorgeous. The sound also comes out through the scar cable. I'm going to close the door here. Let's see what we got. I'm kind of liking this music. Let's get some scan lines. Yeah, man. Can barely see the ladder. What was down there, man? Raise some of this contrast up. Look at that. This game came with a map too. It's huge. This has got to be one of the best in television games. I'm telling you. You like this game, Andrew? Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Why? Let me raise it up a little bit so it's brightness because um it's a lot of darkness going on. Oh no. Let's start this from the top so we can show these guys. I know some of you might have this also, you know, I know you guys are enjoying it. Big shout out to Collective Vision. Huge fan. 
huge fan. So uh, we're in 2016 right now and about August 2017, the Coleco Expo is coming up. I hope you guys are going because I will be there. Huge fan, huge big fan of Coleco. Well, I got some new ColecoVision games craziness from Opco Games. Um, finally got the Gradius and the, and the Penguin Adventure. You know what, let's check that out. Turn this light back on. I'm gonna start making a lot more videos. I've just been so busy with work. There it is, there it is right there. Let me get some light, where's my light? Here we go. This is a limited edition uh, Gradius. There was like a pre-order on Atari Age. And um, you had to grab it while it was hot. Look at that. Um, hold on. You see these three games here? This was uh, this is also Opco Games color line. So-called their budget games. Case is all right, you know. I like it. Very professional. It's gonna be hard for me to open this. You got your um, little pamphlet here. Nice, colorful. Very professional. Barely see it. Case is pretty mint. Look at that. Tank Battalion. Plays really good. I like the little rubber that they got. And hold the cartridge in. Very good stuff. Let me close this up. Um, these ColecoVision games also work with uh, the F-18 mod. If you have one. I have one modded. It's in the, in the bedroom. It makes the colors better. And you get no... Um, we call that uh, no flicker and stuff. Bosconian. I, I believe this is sold out, guys, at Atari H. What a bummer. What a bummer. Plays really well. As you can see there. Super game module required. Mm -hmm. F18A supported. You see how it has the little the little art pad and the you know the paintbrush because it does um, enhance the colors and warp warp. Warping war. Beautiful. Beautiful Opco. Plays really well. Sound is great. Super game module required also. F18 supported. What's going on over there? You're dying a lot. Mm -hmm. Look at this case, guys. Wow. Amazing. I'm loving it. I've been playing this stuff since, oh man, since the 80s. Well, not this game exactly, but, you know, the ColecoVision was one of my favorites. I remember the first time I played Donkey Kong. Holy crap. Compared to the Atari, you was like, you was in heaven. Look at that. Look how this thing opens. It even has like some kind of magnetized strip where it just locks. Beautiful. Came with a nice book. Very professional. This is an actual release. I don't I don't even call this a homebrew. It's not a homebrew to me. Got the Konami logo. Look at that. 2016 games for your ColecoVision. And television, Atari, heading over to Atari Age. Get your credit card, your PayPal, whatever. You owe it to yourself. Because this stuff is gorgeous. Look at that. I don't want to spoil all the games. I don't know if I have the rights to do that. But this catalog has some new games coming soon. You know, you probably see it on his... Facebook, uh, hop code and stuff in there on Atari H. Get to the good stuff. This is what I'm waiting for. A beautiful arcade port of Donkey Kong for your ColecoVision. It's gonna look just like that. God, not not like that. Holy crap. Bad focus. That is looking great. Compared to the old ColecoVision version, you know what? I don't knock the old ColecoVision version. It was really good, especially the Atom one with the high RAM um, expansion. You can also play it on with the Super Game module. I have a copy here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I was gonna sit down. Also, a couple. Oh, this is a brand new copy of uh, Donkey Kong Jr. for 2600. I was really looking for this. Pretty freaking mint. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if I showed this. Yeah, I did. Actually, I did a video on that. Um, let's get. Oh, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I was on a topic, so whatever. 
Donkey Kong. This is the Adam version. I've shown this on my Facebook. Talked about it in my last video, I think. Getting some bad focus. Oh god, forget it. Anyway, there's some other goodies in here. Let me see. I got an autofocus button. See if that works. Yeah, that should do it. No. Start for the back. I'm supposed to be watching Andrew, but oh no. It's hard to do this with one hand. There's one game specific that I'm fiending for, guys. Donkey Kong is one of them, yeah. Pac-Man DX. This will have F18A support, and I know it's gonna run crazy. No flicker in the ghosts. Wow. Maze of Gal... I don't know. Gallius? Yeah, I guess. Gallius. Ladybug. A great arcade port. Just like Opco has been doing with all the games. It's gonna be it's gonna be gorgeous. I know it. Space Invaders, forget about it. It's, it's, this this is awesome stuff right here. My next video, I want to start showing um, some of the gameplay of this um, Penguin Adventure and Gradius and whatever. Some of the colored colored games. Look at that. Beautiful. Also a limited cart, it's kind of like an ice blue cart. Beautiful stuff. I can't, I can't say no more about that. All right, let me get back to the entry. What's going on here, man? I see you suffering. I know this game is tough. That controller is really tough. I've just been playing a lot of Overwatch, so I know sometimes this retro stuff gets to him. I recommend an RGB uh, in television. It's just, oh man, so, so retro. So vivid, especially on a BBM. If you have like a, a nice scaler for your modern TVs, I have these, um, a nice OLED in the bedroom. And I would hook this up to the, to the OSSD scan converter and I would go to town. This thing looks awesome. You can also put scan lines just like this. But once again, like I said, oh, like I said before, kudos to Collectivision. I'm gonna get into this tonight. Whoa! Mm. Sound like a little rat. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness! This game has a lot of screens. Awesome! Awesome! Oh boy, come on, you could do this. Oh, that's it? Oh no. Be careful, buddy. Now, speaking of uh, Mattel, you know, they, they made in television. Um, I've been picking up a lot of He Man and Thundercats, but um, they actually lost the rights to the Thundercats. They finished up the line, I think it was about five figures. I'm gonna show that in my next video. They, they look so awesome. Munra in the box is just plain awesome. Love this Sydney Hunter character, man. It's awesome. Good stuff. Wow. That in television. Can you believe this? This is crazy. You getting the hand of the controllers there, buddy. Man, this video is about to be a two gigs, so I'm gonna have to cut it out soon. I'll probably do another. I'm gonna do another video tomorrow. I'm gonna show on um, PlayStation One. Uh, maybe I'll play oh, some. No. Oh no, some Ape Escape or something. Or whatever you guys want to see. I mean, you could ask for anything. I'll, I'll play anything. Whatever. I have a nice Saturn mod, uh, modded Saturn, Sega Saturn system. I have original copy games. <laughs> oh, 
Alright guys. Happy gaming. Merry Christmas to you all. Take it easy.